What is up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kidnator back and with another Fortnite video. I've already done this video in the past, but I thought I was going to do it again. And I said I was going to do it like yet or two days ago, and I never got it done. So sorry about that. So we're going to done today. And as you saw by the title, I'm going to be sharing my Fortnite keybinds and settings. Of course, like I said, I've already done this before. And the reason I'm doing it is because I have changed them a little bit. Definitely not much at all. I usually have always kept the same keybinds. I made my own keybinds and I'm sticking with them because I feel like they are amazing and they're very comfortable for myself. So I'm just going to skim through this very, very quick. The keybinds is what I'm going to go through mostly. But um, So I have on windowed. Um, everybody always says keep it on full screen. But the only reason that I don't do that is because... I, when I'm doing videos, I don't really have hotkeys, so I'm probably going to make some hotkeys soon. Plus, it totally glitches out my screen, so I am on a laptop, if you didn't know. So, uh, don't be saying, I can't do it. I can do it. But what will happen is, like, when I'm out of, when, when I'm in full screen, the buttons will just be, like, above each other. I, don't, I know you don't probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm just going to end it off there. But, um... Uh, resolution is 1920 by 1040, uh, 165 frames, 125 percent brightness, um, color blind, nothing. So my graphics is view distance is epic, shadows off, anti-aliasing medium, textures medium, effects medium, and post processing is low. Advanced graphic V-Sync is off, motion blur is on, show FPS is on, uh, direct 12x beta, allow multi-thread rendering on, UGTPU crash and debugging off, and of course, I don't really have ray tracing, um, so I can't really say much about that quite yet, I haven't tried it. So, uh, this you don't really, well, you kind of need to know this. I have toggle sprint on, sprint my default on, uh, sprint cancels reloading off, auto open doors on, hold to swap pick up on, toggle targeting off, mark danger when targeting on, auto pick up weapons is off, auto sort consume rolls to right, and if you don't have that on, you're crazy, you really need that on, reset building choice is off, reset edits when entering build mode, I have that on, it's like the pre-editing thing, turbo building you really need on, um, confirm edit on releases, you have to have that on as well. Um, and nah, nothing really, uh, I have replays on just in case I need to record a video from it. Um, this you don't really need to know too much. Uh, here's my sensitivity. I'm on 400 DPI, and this is my in-game, uh, sense. So I am pretty much on pretty low sensitivity, but, um, controller, I'm not into that. I'm sorry. My audio, so it's not annoying while I'm doing a video, the music, like when I'm doing, I'm sure we don't have the weird music, that's on 6%, um, background audio, 3D headphones, um, voice chats on, my headphones is Arctic 5 game, licensed audio, of course, is off, so I do not get a copyright strike, if you don't know how to do it, you go to your microphone audio, and then go to licensed audio, mute all, um, this is where we're gonna have to get, of course, we have the Classic WASD. I've been thinking about switching to ESDF or IJKL, but I don't really think I'm going to do it. Jump, of course, spacebar, sprint, none. Auto run is equals. Crouch is C as well as tab. I don't really use tab unless my pinky gets really sore. And that's when I use C, but I don't use that very much. Um, the fire, of course, default fire the reload is r uses e harvesting tool i don't use this because i have a 60 percent keyboard i'll show you what i use in a second of course weapon slot one two three and then left control and mouse wheel up i don't use three and four or five um oh well, yeah i do use three i use three i'm sorry i misread that i'll use one two and three and then for four and five i use mouse wheel up and z building crouch while building tab uh, of course uh, my wall is Q. My floor is uh, my thumb mouse button um, 2, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. And my stairs is thumb mouse button 1. My roof is um, left shift. My trap is not showing up. I don't know why, but it's T. My place building is, of course, my shoot button. Repair upgrade is F. Rotate building is R. Change building materials 6 and C, but I just use C. Building edit is mouse wheel down and caps lock, so I do have scroll wheel reset. And then select building edit is my left mouse button. I'm being spammed. 
um, reset building edit is mouse wheel down and caps lock. Um, ping and place a marker is V and middle mouse button. I just use V. I don't usually use the middle mouse. Emote B. I don't really use anything else. Toggle harvesting tool. This is what I use for my harvesting tool. My pickaxe is X, and I don't use like the harvesting tool. I use toggle so I can easily just switch back to a weapon. Um, here we go. Trap, equip, and picker is T. Switch quick bar. I don't have that. Um, cursor mode, which is you have your inventory. You have to hold it. If you let go, it'll go out. Toggle map is M. Of course, I have all this stuff you don't really need to know. Um, I don't use controller. So for this one, I have player surveys on. So every now and then they will ask you stuff to like rate the cabbage how you like it in Fortnite or something. Um, anonymous mode off. Uh, can receive gifts on. You know, here you go. I'm just going to scroll right through so you can see it. So that is basically it. So I'm just going to go in creative and kind of show you how I play. And then, yeah, we'll just go off from there. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just might as well, since the keybind setting, show you how good I play. And, of course, I do have the default, uh, you know, landing. I don't even think you can change how you play your glider, but you probably can on Fortnite. Don't, please don't uh, make fun of my combo. I just literally just put up fun and random, and we're going to see how we go. So, I haven't played much today, so I might be a little rusty. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. Ooh. But so uh, my settings, I feel very comfortable with them because I really like them. But yeah, I'm really rusty. And for some reason, I'm not using the Leviathan Axe, which I swear doubles your edit speed. So it's really, it's really fast to um, equip. I, once again, I don't really know why I'm showing you. You can click off the video here. You don't have to watch me crank and stuff. But I'm just trying to show you like how I play with my keybinds. I feel extremely comfortable with them. And if you have a keyboard, uh, don't change the settings unless you're comfortable with them. But you can go ahead and just like put your hand on your keyboard and like just feel how it feels with my keybinds. Just rewind to uh, whenever whatever setting you want to do. Pause and just put your finger there and see how you like it. If you're not on keyboard, I don't have any controller settings for you, so I'm super sorry. But um, I haven't used this pickaxe and since I got it because I never really liked it. And I see why I never really liked it. It kind of has a slow pull speed, but. So I've been using Leviathan Axe, like I said, and it has a very fast pull speed. You can edit a lot faster and stuff. But um, we had just hit 1,500 subs on YouTube. I want to thank every single person who helped me get there along the way. Um, it really means a lot, and it helps a lot. So, come on. Give me the 2K, please. I would love to get there. My dream was 1K, and it took me like five months to get there. And now, in just one month, we're almost half 500, so almost halfway to 2K in like a month. And I just want to thank every single person that helped me do it. I want to thank my reviews, because my reviews are what's kind of getting me there. Um, so, some of you were saying... I have like so many V Bucks and I don't spend them. I don't spend them because I need to send my V Bucks for reviews because that's what's growing my channel. Like 33,000 V Bucks may seem like so much to you guys that don't do YouTube. But when you do YouTube and mainly when your channel is a review channel, 33,000 V Bucks is not a lot. Uh, it's a lot, but it's not a lot for a content creator who reviews stuff. And sometimes it doesn't even want to uh, buy what he reviews. That's why sometimes I do reviews and I drop. I don't normally do them too much, but uh, I just try to get the best content out for you guys. And if you wonder why I don't make any like gameplay videos, because I don't have a good editing app to use. This free without me having to pay ninety dollars, and that's not really gonna happen. But uh, yeah, so that is my keybind settings video. I hope you enjoyed. And oh, wait up. And if you happen to like my content, please consider using my supporter creator code in all caps, yt Knitter in the item shop to help support me. It really means a lot and helps a lot, and I encourage you to please use it. Hashtag ad. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my Fortnite setting keybinds video. Hope it helped you, and once again, go check them out. Uh, make sure you know your keybinds so you don't get, like, locked out of your keybinds and don't remember what it is. But, like, I'm sorry for you controller players if you're watching this. I have no settings for you guys. I'm super sorry, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.